In 2021, blockchain was the most valuable skill and the blockchain developer position had a 33 time increase compared to 2020. And high demand means higher salaries. In this video, I will tell you how much you can make as a Web3 developer. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blogs, I help Web2 developers get into Web3. So before we start, it's important to make a distinction. There are actually two kinds of blockchain developers. There are the blockchain core developers. These are the ones who work on the actual blockchain software like the Ethereum client or Bitcoin client. And they are the blockchain app developer that we also call Web3 developer. And these are the ones that build applications on top of the blockchain. So most of the demand, most of the job market is for these Web3 developers. And that's what we are going to talk about in this video. And before we get started, I'd like to quickly mention my Web3 Bootcamp. This is for Web2 developers who want to be job ready for Web3. The next cohort is going to start in less than one week. We only have a few spots left. If you want to apply to the Bootcamp, follow the link down below. So the salary of Web3 developers can vary depending on their experience, skill set, and location. So in general, of course, the more years you spend working as a Web3 developer, the better you can earn. So let's take a look at this survey from the Bureau of Labor Statistics in the US. So for entry level developer, they put $53,000, mid career $100,000. Uh, late career, uh, 155,000. So I find this pretty low and this is below what I've observed. So me, what I see is that for junior, it starts at $100,000. So the location matters also. So according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, you can earn an average of 68,000 in Nashville. Whereas if you live in San Francisco, you can earn on average 128,000. So I also find these salaries quite low because, for example, in San Francisco, a salary of 128,000 isn't that much really. Even in small city, you can still make more money than this as a Web3 developer. And also now, because so many projects are decentralized, the location doesn't matter as much as it used to be. So now let's see the base salary per country. So based on this research article done by the online learning company Simply Learn which combine multiple sources from Glassdoor, ZipRecruiter, the Blockchain Council, and Business Insider, we can get an overall view of the average salary for a Web3 developer. So in the US, about $100,000. In the UK, 68,000 pounds. In Switzerland, it tends to be really high. Very interesting. In Germany, it also looks higher than what I thought. Canada, very similar to the US. Singapore, not bad, even though it's a little bit lower than the US. And now if we take a more macro view, so in Asia, the average annual income for Web3 developer is around $87,000. In Europe, it's $73,000. But you have to take into consideration that in Europe, usually there are more social benefits like unemployment benefits, etc. that partly compensate for these lower salaries. And for the remote Web3 developer, they earn on average $123,000. So it actually ranged from $70,000 to $200,000. And so this is because in general, remote Web3 developer have a better skill set than people who work locally at an office. And when it comes to skill, according to CNBC, Web3 developer, which have additional knowledge in terms of networking, database design, and cryptography, earn a bit more between $150,000 and $175,000. And I would add one thing that they forgot to mention, but which is extremely important. If you are good in security, it's going to have a massive boost in your salary as a Web3 developer. We're talking of salary of $200,000, $300,000 per year. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit of remote job for Web3 developers. So First of all, remote work has gained more traction since the COVID and even before crypto was already very decentralized. So in this report of Indeed, it showed that in June 2021, 36% of blockchain related jobs were remote. And for the other jobs, it's only 7% that are remote. When it comes to software development jobs in Web3, 44% are listed as remote. And for general software development, not about blockchain, it's only 31%. 
So we can clearly see that by working in crypto, you have even more chance of working remotely. So now let's talk of the compensation package that you can get as a Web3 developer. So you can get a signing bonus. So that is paid when you join a Web3 company and this is a one-time payment. Then you can have a performance bonus. And on top of your base salary, you can also receive some bonus in the form of stock options. So if you work for a company that is publicly traded, then it's easier to evaluate the value of this stock option. But if this is a Web3 startup that is a private company, your only reference is the last funding round. So for example, during if the last funding round, the valuation was 10 million, then uh, you can calculate the value of your stock option. Uh, but you have to realize that uh, these stocks are not very liquid um, and also usually there is a, a vesting process which means that you don't get all these stocks right away but you have to stay in the company for a couple of years. So it can significantly increase your remuneration but you also have to take into consideration that it's more risky because in the worst case scenario if you leave the company too early or the company goes bankrupt then you might not see a penny from these stock options. Then because we are in crypto, beside stock option, we also have token bonus. So the big advantage of token bonus versus stock option is that the liquidity is much better. Uh, usually uh, you can sell these token in decentralized exchanges like Uniswap, there is enough liquidity. Um, they can be vested as well, which means you still need to wait before you access all of your token. And this can be a pretty significant part of your compensation. For example, we've seen some job description for senior 3T engineer with a base salary of $300,000 with the remaining $450,000 in the form of tokens. Now, a question that I receive often is, do we need to have a computer science degree to get a high salary? So it's true that if you have a computer science degree, it means that you went through the basics of programming and usually you went pretty deep in how computer works. So this is going to support you in the salary negotiation. Now, this isn't as valuable as having experience in the field and it's absolutely not required at all. So it's not really sure to me that it's really worthy to invest between three to five years of your time to get a CS degree and also with all the money investment instead of learning on your own or following some courses or bootcamp and building a very solid portfolio. So what is the future outlook for Web3 jobs? So if we take a look at the blockchain market report released by Market and Market, the current blockchain market is $4.9 billion and is projected to grow to $67 billion in 2026, which should greatly impact the salary of blockchain developers. And as I mentioned, the fastest way to get in the space is to follow a Web3 Bootcamp. And if you want to get in Web3 as fast as possible, you can apply for our Web3 Bootcamp where we help Web2 developers to become professional Web3 developers. And the next cohort is going to start next week. And if you want to apply, follow the links down below. That's it for today. Bye.